Emrys, good morning. Good morning. I've come to the workshop of medieval armourer Emrys to find out if there could be any truth in such depictions. You know we read in the sagas of helms being cleaved and all that? Yes. And you will be familiar with this, the Javsky Bible. Oh, I know it well. And we see the helms being cleaved by swords. Mm. Does this ring true to you? No, of course not. But we will try and drop it in there and see if we can do at least some damage. Well, you'll damage the sword. But you're happy to risk. No competition, really, is there? Let us see. I doubt that the sword will cut through the helm, but I'm keen to see to what extent it will bite into the steel, thus transferring the force of the blow to the man within. It's made. It's bitten into the metal. The injuries shown in the Majewski Bible seem far-fetched, but such a blow is likely to have left the man dazed and concussed. And that was very much the function of the sword at Barnet. Sharp enough to bite into metal and heavy enough for blows to be felt through the armor. It was at the very least a powerful bludgeoning tool.